Uh, hi, this is Steve. And the first thing I want to do here to address Paul Choate's um, deck railing, this is what he's trying to accomplish, which is very easy. And this is an out-of-the-box rail. And let me just show you how that's built. It's nothing, you know, too creative here, but it's ra uh, balusters, post to rail, include top and bottom rail, and raise that bottom rail over there four inches. And when you go here, I've got the rail set at 42 high. Newel posts are four inch square. The spacing is 84. The balusters are inch and a half, five inch spacing, just square. Uh, the rails, the top rail is like a two by six. I made them two inches tall, but you could, if you want to be accurate, you know, they might be inch and a half. I just don't think it matters in elevation view, but... Um, just to be accurate here, we'll, the bottom rail is three and a half, and the middle rail, which we're not using, would be three and a half. But um, that's it. The other thing here is I create my own deck railing wall. And uh, in this one here, I've got an outside surface of bone, but you don't even need that. I think I'm going to actually just delete that. But I've made the wall. The, the key here is six inches and it's just one layer for a material it doesn't really want to matter what the material is because it's not going to show up but um, the reason it's six inches is to um, push the newels back on the deck so they don't look like they're hanging right on the edge as you can see right here and uh, otherwise, Chief will build those right to the uh, to the edge. As you can see over here, this rail now has a two inch. So anyway, just wanted to show you that um, how this railing is built to start with. And what we're going to do is we are going to open this up and we are going to just. I've already built one of these panels, so I'll just show you right here. We'll go to here and we'll select panels and not include the bottom and then go to the next page here and go to the library and this is the what i've just built just stick that in there hit okay and it changes and there you go and um you can make that top rail as big or as small as you want it you could open this up and go to the rails page and make this seven and a quarter. I think this looks better with two. Sorry, folks, but I'm just going to make these both two. And then um, there you have it. Now, the one thing about this design is that it's designed, the symbol I created here for this railing panel is designed to be 72 inches on center. And if your deck is too narrow and chief adjusts these newels wherever, um, then you're kind of stuck. There's a couple of ways around that. You could um, draw this like right here and then put one over on this end and then multiple copy here, make it 72 inches. And you can see that's how far apart they should be. Um, if you if you do this and you do multiple copy and evenly distribute, and we would want three, then you can see that they're only five feet apart, four foot eleven, and so it's going to compress those newels. I'm not the newels, but these balusters closer together. So you may not want that. And you can do a couple things. You can go here, open this up, and uh, on this page here, make these maybe 90, and then it'll space them. But now they're stretching them out, making them a little too big. Um, so you may have to create symbols that are 4 feet, 5 feet, 6 feet, 7 feet, and just use the appropriate one. And once you build one symbol, you can build them all. So let me show you how to build the symbol. 
Here's a example of the symbol that you would have to make to make that panel. And I did a little experiment. And if you want to maintain these like four inch gaps, you pretty much have to make one of these rails that will fit between your newels and, um, you know, at, at a certain spacing. So this one I drew here at 72 inches. And if the newels get farther apart, these gaps will get a little bit farther apart. I don't think it really matters in an elevation view and you might just have to just label it, you know, two by twos at five inches on center or whatever you normally would do. But um, if they get too tight, they're going to look really funky because they'll be only two inches apart or something. So you'll just have to play with that. You may have to make a number of these symbols and put them in your library and just use them however appropriate they are. You might make one, you know, three foot, three foot, four, three foot, eight, four foot, you know, whatever. You can just copy these and make them over and over. But I'll show you how to make this real quick. Okay, so back here in plan view, and here's that symbol I was just showing you. And um, what I would do actually is, uh, this is the rail that's right out of the box right here. And I just draw like a, ba a back clip section through here like this and then zoom in well what I would do is next I would just do a CAD detail from view and then from here I would just take these lines um, and use them as guides and then I just do a polyline I'd go three and a half by minus 1.5 Oh, actually, you do it the other way, so I'll just turn this. That's right. I'm sorry. And put it right here. And then copy that and pull it down and put it right there. We'll have to do point to point. And then, uh, very easily, I would just click right here, do another polyline and go minus 1.5 okay and that's it so now you know you got them roughly where you want them and uh, I would just copy this like that group it all together command C or whatever you got control C then I just control alt V paste and hold position and then I would make this and this convert these to polyline solids and let's just make them 72 inches and then convert this to a polyline solid and make it inch and a half and then we'll go back over here to plan view um, no right here sorry and then multi in fact we can get rid of this right here we will do multiple copy and space them at five inches right there. Drag them down. And then you want them to be in the center, so I'd find the center of this line. They're all concrete. And what I would do is I would just, I'm going to pick up this white and paint these balusters all white. And I just paint things different materials because then you can paint them different materials later. I don't know if you can, as a symbol, if you paint everything the same, I think you're going to be stuck with it. And then let's look at this in standard view. I'm just going to take, I don't know, let's just take this railing and paint it here, paint it here. Now, to me, that's not going to work because the grain's growing the wrong way. So if you open this and go to materials, and I've done this already, so I've got a material in here in my plan materials, uh, like 90, I called it, I think. So changes the direction, and you should know how to do that. I, I don't want to go into that right now, but that's easy to just, and then save that material to your library so you have it in the future. But 
So there we go. We got our symbol ready to go. Now in X11, we can just, we can group select all this. Actually, I'm going to just select all these first. This is a great feature in X11. We can now just make symbols right here in the plan and then hit the little symbol symbol down here. Symbol symbol. And there you go. Now, when you turn your X, Y, and Z on, you're going to see, I'm not sure why this happens, maybe the way we drew it, that the X, Y, and Z is down here on the end. And that means that's not good. We don't want it there. So you go here to your 3D panel and rotate around the Z axis until it's in the middle where you want it. And I would say that's where uh, I think we want to just do it like this. I don't know. We'll we'll try this and see how it works. And um, it might take some experiment for you to get this. The other thing I like to do is change the smoothing angle to about 20. Of course, we got to name it. We're going to call it um, deck railing. Um, I'm actually going to put a like AA in front of it. So uh, two by two by 72 and 2D block, whatever. Um, railing, fence panel, material sizing. Okay, sizing is the next thing. So <clears throat> what we want to do here is, see here's the width. We want to have a uniform stretch plane between minus 36 and 36. And then a height plane here of, say, 18, right in the middle. And um, that should do it. Save it. It'll go to your library. There it is. And then we can just take that and actually, um, well, this isn't using panels. Well, there you go. That was pretty simple, really. And um, it looks pretty good. So now on this rail, I had a bottom rail. So make sure you open this and rail style. Just take the bottom rail off. And there you go. It looks pretty good. It works. Now the thing is, these posts might not be 72 inches apart. You know how Chief does it. They will divide this up so it works. So if you open this and you go to the new old balusters page here and you make this 96, you see the gaps get wider. Um, so you might have to go like 84 and then they kind of get narrow. Um, but I think for an elevation view, no one would be able to tell, number one. And um, you can just detail it. But that should give you some idea on how to do this. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, post them and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks.